Hello and welcome. My name is Billy Nicholson and I'm one of the lecturers in the Creative Industries team at East Durham College. Thank you very much for joining us today on this interactive tour, virtual experience, uh, so that you can get a taste of what it is like to study at East Durham College and hopefully answer some of your questions. Um, we're going to have a presentation which is going to involve a video tour, uh, a video of the art department, some information about the range of courses which we are providing at East Durham, some information about trips and visits. We're going to show you a little glimpse of footage from our Holland trip and I'm going to talk a little bit about the work experience requirement at at that at the college that you'll experience as part of your study here. So that is an overview of how it's going to run. Um, what we would like you to do is that we would like, you, you may be thinking to yourself, how do we ask questions? And that in itself is a really good question. There are a couple of ways. One way is that you can comment on the YouTube page. Okay, uh, so my colleagues uh, are all on virtual, on computers, uh, in different locations, and they're going to be answering questions, any questions that you have to answer. If you can't comment, you can send us an email, okay, um, at boxoffice at eastdurham.ac.uk. So if you've got any questions, if you fire them up, uh, and then hopefully we will be able to answer those questions to you. So my colleague Amanda has just introduced herself. Um, so if you have any questions, Amanda will be there to answer anything that you've got. So that that's uh, an overview. Uh, I'll just introduce you to another member of the team. And this is Emma Fisk. And we also have Alex, uh, who is one of our technical team as well. So if you have any questions about the course that you have as we run through this, uh, we will be very happy to answer them for you. So without further ado, uh, I'm, I'm going to, what would normally happen under Come to College event is that we would take you around the different areas of the department, explaining to you how those resources are used and the context in which we, 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 you would get to experience them. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with it with a tour of one area and then we're gonna move on to the art area. But before I do that, I'll just quickly introduce you to Kirsty, uh, who is one of the art and design lecturers. So if you have any questions for any of the staff, just fire those emails in and we will be delighted to answer them for you. So, a video tour. So the space that you can see at the moment is our theatre. It's a 216 capacity seat theatre space. Uh, and as you can see, we've got a variety of performances taking place there from jazz performances to rock performances to theatre, contemporary dance. Um, we have, this area is called the Atrium and to our left there is Starbucks and we're now heading towards the dance studio. Um, the dance studio is also utilized as a, as a green space or a dressing room when we have large productions on and then the, the dance activities move upstairs. Um, so this is used as a practice space, it's got a sprung floor uh, which is really good if we're throwing people onto it. Um, 
we see a couple of staff on screen at the moment. So there is Nadine and Brody, uh, who are both part of the Creative Industries team. We're now going into uh, G129, which is production uh, recording, which is a green space room. It has decks of light fittings. All of the rooms are interconnected um, using uh, breakout, breakout boxes so that we can send video and audio to anywhere. This is our Mac suite. It's uh, IMAX running Adobe Final Cut. Uh, Adobe Suite, Creative Cloud Suite, Final Cut Pro, Logic, Animation, Drawing, Illustration, anything that you want to create, we have the capacity to do that. We're now running up the stairs super fast and we're going into our radio studio. Okay. And in, in this we, we are able to, at the moment we've been streaming stuff in college, uh, but the plan is in the new that we're going to be broadcasting to the world. So that's our radio studio <laughs> and we're going along the corridor now and into our second Mac suite. Now this is replicating all of the equipment that's available downstairs, so the full Creative Cloud suite. We have audio recording capabilities, Adobe Audition, which is really good for making radio shows with. And we leave this room, we see some pictures of other events that we've done and then we come into our recording studio. This is running Pro Tools. Uh, Pro Tools is an industry standard piece of software um, that allows us to record high fidelity to broadcast standard. We have two microphones um, and each of the rooms around here have got little breakout boxes so that you can go into the spaces particularly in these cool but sensitive times that you could go into each of the rooms and then record in a safe way to a cent cent central place. Um, this is our rehearsal space uh, with a couple of students um, and each of the rooms is fully kitted out with, with, with the resources for you to be able to rehearse with. Um, a couple of students doing independent rehearsal. One of the things about the course is that you will be required to work independently if that is on your art projects or your media projects you will be required to demonstrate some level of independent learning. Um, and then the final space that we're going to in this part of the tour is uh, a live performance space. Now this room is the same size as the dance studio so we're able to rehearse in this space and then it replicates what we would be doing on the stage or, or down the stage. It's also used as a as a performance space for doing the studio scale performances and there is a, you can see at the moment some elements of student performances. So, that was the tour. I'm going to go back to me for a little bit while I just introduce a couple more members of staff. Uh, so we have got Nadine here now. Um, I'll just put one on that one. Nadine's happy to answer any dance related questions, okay? Um, and we do have one Nadine, which is from Leanne Davies, uh, when she's asking how to get into Dance Academy. Um, so I shall leave that answer to you and introduce another member of staff, uh, which is Helen Topman. Okay. Um, Helen will provide pastoral support for you. Um, She'll chase you up on the telephone um, just to make sure that you're happy with the course. This part of your learning experience is really important because you have choice about what you do and how you choose to work. But in, in the same way that when we're doing exercise or something like that, sometimes we're not feeling as motivated as what we were at the start. At that point, um, Helen will be there 
to provide that support. It's also useful for you to have somebody who you can talk to and express like sort of if there's any particular thing that's causing you anxiety during this process, Helen is going to be there to, to help you. So um, I'm just going to bring up Kirsty again. Um, so Kirsty is one of our art and design lecturers and she's here to answer questions. When now, be, because we did that video really quickly, it was just before a point where the college was being locked down and we, we didn't have a chance to actually do a video of the art area, but we, we do have a little video sequence now, which I, I'm, I'm going to show you, uh, which ho hopefully gives you a taste of the art spaces that we have at the college and the nature of some of the work which they do. And that final picture is from the Netherlands. Um, so at the college, we offer OCR Cambridge Technical Art and Design at level two and level three. Um, with the opportunity, we start off with, with level three introductory certificate and then progressing on to the extended diploma, um, introductory diploma to the extended diploma. Uh, the units cover a range of art and design, including painting, photography, sculpture, animation, anything that you feel particularly wanting to express yourself in creatively. There are a range of units which will allow us to develop and explore those skills, hopefully. So next, we are going to go through uh, our media course. Okay. And on our media course, uh, we have a range of units covered. Uh, these include theory, theoretical units, photography, uh, talk and music radio, planning and producing a media product, film and TV media production, comics and graphic novels. Um, as media students, you'll also be required to work on a range of uh, external briefs. Uh, and last year we had students working for organizations like Um, West Park Primary School and for local schools of dance to produce uh, videos for them. You'll also be required to be involved in our community pantomime doing the productions of videos for that. These are multi-camera shoots. They're quite tiring uh, physically but it's a reflection of like sort of the breadth of work that you're required to do within the industry. After level two, you'll be able to exp ex progress onto the level three diploma and onto the extended diploma in media. Uh, the entry requirements for this are five GCSEs at level four and above. Um, it's heavily reliant on practical activity. 
Uh, so you'll be working with real briefs, okay, uh, within the sector, and there will be an expectation for you to to be flexible in your working schedule. Okay, the, the nature of being a creative practitioner it, these days is that you have to be prepared to develop your like multiple skills simultaneously. Um, it, the, the technical term is called a career portfolio. Okay, so you need a career portfolio and, and that's why we have this breadth of study at, on the course. The UAL qualification, and this is for music, performing arts, and media, is that it's a heavily practical course. It's built around projects. So there's gonna be lots and lots of projects happening uh, during your time at college. Now, some of you may be asking, how will COVID impact upon those projects? As creative practitioners, we are required to come up with creative solutions. It is, it is fundamental to who we are. And the one certainty is that we will come up with creative solutions that will continue to develop the, the project nature and the performance nature of what we're doing. Okay, so that, that, that's an overview of media and art. We are now going to have a look at the level two performing arts qualification. Okay, uh, and for the level two, year one, um, seven units in, across a range of projects, including performing arts industry, performing arts project, skills development. I've mentioned before about the necessity for you to be working on your own skills development. It's really important that you practice regularly. Okay. And after that one, we'll then have a look at the UAL qualification. Okay. Um, we're very excited about doing the UEL program. Uh, we, we think that it's going to provide a very stimulating environment for your learning. Um, and the emphasis is completely focused on the development of your performance skills about you as a creative practitioner. So it's a 100% internal assessment. There's one examiner visit. Uh, and units are course graded, pass, merit, and distinction. Okay. We are looking forward to this a lot. Okay. And next, music. Uh, we have on screen at the moment a picture of visiting musicians. So we have a program of external artists who come to the college and perform at regular points but there will also be the opportunity for you to create your own performances now because of covid um, the nature of those performances is something that we're going to work out and, and, and do together we're, we're seeing lots of innovation at the moment and we're coming up with plans by which we are going to be producing music and sharing that music with, with as large an audience as possible so what will we be doing um well, you'll be playing music and you will also um if you're level two you'll be studying certain course units so developing musical skills and techniques professional practice playing as a musical ensemble musical history and context the performing arts industry and performance project are some examples of the units covered um we want to help and develop you your practical skills okay you have the opportunity to perform uh, for different commercial organizations and uh, local community organizations such as East Durham Trust, Durham County Council, p and Ferries with further progression uh, at the end of this period on to level two. Um, we have done trips and visits to Lancaster to observe festivals and you will be given money to, to support you taking part in, in, in 
in in the creation of your own festival should you choose to um so a, a, a wide range of opportunities for you to experience and next we will go on to dance academy and okay dance academy is open to all students regardless of what program you are studying uh, we do encourage our performing arts and music students to join dance academy just in terms of your fitness levels and in terms of your well-being um, Nadine uh, is our specialist who is leading that subject area and she will provide you with a range of skill development classes as well as opportunities to work with our other students and within the context of large-scale performances and productions. It's a very exciting environment, um, it's very energetic and we do require you to commit to it fully with all energy. Now, um, I mentioned at the start that we will be talking about the the, the range of work experience opportunities that are available and we normally uh, host a large-scale pantomime every year uh, it, it's run over 10 days and it, 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 it is to an audience of about 2,200 people once again because of COVID we're not really sure whether that's going to be taking place at the time that it normally does uh, we're still waiting for information about what is going to be happening but there will be some performance of some kind and we'll be working with you to come up with an idea of what that will be we also have a plan that we are going to be doing the setting up of an in-house TV station which is going to broadcast drama and documentaries and music shows and contemporary performances that you will be creating so, so it certainly in the first part of the academic year our plan is that we are going to be broadcasting live from East Home College and you are going to be creating the content for these broadcasts and then the plan will be that once strategies are in place regarding COVID we will be doing our large-scale theatrical performances because they're needed. Now, these performances require you to work outside of the normal curriculum hours. So you'll be working independently at home, developing your skills. You'll also be working collaboratively with other people uh, in, in a variety of settings. Just going to go now back to me for a second and press it. So that 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 was a, a a little montage of images from our production. Um, we also do trips and visits. So last academic year, we took students to Lancaster. They they went to see a a festival of uh, Adidas footwear of banners they also went to uh, Lancaster again to see a jazz festival they went to the Netherlands to see um, to visit a, a brilliant museum called Mokul uh, and it was an exhibition of Banksy artwork uh, they went to to Newcastle, to the Clooney, to a PRS conference. They went to see um, Britain's Got Talent at Manchester. They went scuba diving. There is a really rich program of enrichment. Um, 
So I'm just going to put a little video on so that you can see uh, what the Holland trip is like. Um, it was an incredibly stormy trip when this happened, uh, which is why everybody looks as if they've been run over by a truck. If I do that, Amanda Gregory asked, I noticed a number of children on stage in the panto. Who are they and can I get involved? Yes, you can. Um, we have a youth theatre, which is run by Nadine. Uh, and Nadine will post some information shortly so that she, she'll explain how you can be involved in the process. Okay. So we'll, we'll come back to that question in a little bit. Hopefully when Nadine gives me an answer and then I've pasted it here. Uh, thank you for the question. And Holland, I build it up to. Um, so that was the video and we do that trip in conjunction with the ferry company so it is either in conjunction with P&O ferries or it's in conjunction with DFDS um, Scandinavian Seaways um, that they help liaise with us so that you're required to conduct yourself if you were a performer employed by the, the company um, I still don't have an answer from anyone on how to how to get involved, but that will be coming soon. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly run through some additional information which I'm required to give you. Okay, you will be able to travel by via a free bus to and from college, any Arriva bus service. Okay, uh, and Arriva provides our own ED. East Durham College buses uh, which travel around the local area uh, and if there isn't a bus service near you you will be able uh, to jump on another bus and then the college will reverse you if you have to use a different service instead okay uh, there's a cash reward scheme and it's a deal for all East Durham College students uh, you get amazing cash rewards with the help of uh, which will help you with the cost of the college. So you could use your rewards to help fund a trip, a visit. Um, and, uh, yes, and you can get up to £360 for the academic year, paid at £10 per week, subject to good attendance, excellent behaviour, and assignment and homework completion. Uh, and for students from households with income between 25,000 to 50,000, you can get up to 100 pounds for the academic year. Paid at 50 pounds in February, at 10 pounds in July. And I'll just do the next one. So if you want any more information, uh, you can contact inquiries at East Durham, and I'm gonna put some more links up for you to see uh, when, when, we, when we get to the, to the end section. So, so that's the additional information. We're going to go back to contact us and I'm going to answer some questions. So Nadine says that um, we have the children are members of our youth theatre group and they, um, we train them from six years old and they specialise in music theatre and produce up to three shows a year. And there's loads of them. Yep. And they all work extremely hard and they're very talented. And Helen inquired, can 
mature people and roll on a creative course? Yes, you definitely can. We encourage it for your well-being and the well-being of society. If you are mature, you should be on a creative industries course because only that way can you achieve your your creative fulfillment and only through your efforts can we share your creativity with each other and, and the world. So yes, there is funding to support mature learners onto the course. And if you follow the links, which I'm about to post up, uh, there will be someone who can advise you on how to access college courses as a mature learner. So it is available to you. And the message from the Dean says, spaces for the Lebeckan Theatre Company are limited. Um, but if you contact us, we will get back to you with more details. So, I think all that remains is for me now to go to the URLs. Okay, so we have got a website, okay, and we have a college link. So, if you go to that website, um, and you want more information about the course, if you just go to, oh, that way, I'm, I got to <laughs> I'm going to point up. If you go to that place, uh, that website, you, we, we, we should be able to uh, advise you on the funding and resources that are required uh, for you to be able to join the course uh, and to give you any other information. So I think that's about it. The links, the stuff. I, I, I don't know if anyone from the team wants to remind me of any omissions that I have made during the course of this. If you just fire those points now, um, all, all that remains is for me to say thank you very much for joining us today. Um, if you have any further questions, that if you send us an email to boxoffice at eastern.ac.uk, uh, we will try and answer that. And I think that's everything. We have no more, no more questions. So we'll go into, I was Billy Nicholson. Ha! <laughs> uh, okay, I'll I, I put that there. Um, I, I think that that is called online heckling. Um, so, thank you very much for watching. My name is Billy Nicholson. Um, I'll just lose that one. Uh, Emma says that you can also send questions via messenger to our Facebook page. Okay, so we have a Creative Industries Facebook page, which I don't have the link for here. Um, but if you want to do it that way, that, that would be good. Um, so questions via Facebook messenger. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I am going to practice my, that's my right hand. Yay, that's me. There we go. Thank you very much for your time and have a good day.